guys, Willis here. We're back. So Hive Lords are starting to pop up on different planets now in Helldivers as well. There's been some leaked icons for the game as well. Some more illuminate textures and someone has actually found a real life super sample tree. All that and more in this video. Once again, there will be timestamps. We are giving away copies of the game, guys. If you'd like to win a copy, just like the video, leave a comment and make sure you're subscribed. So this guy has actually pulled off probably the coolest thing I've seen in Helldivers. He basically managed to throw a orbital rail cannon strike on top of a charger, jump on top while the rail cannon is aiming at the charger, and then basically jumped off last second. I don't know if you guys have seen anything cooler than that, let me know, but that's definitely by far one of the coolest things I've seen in the game. So this guy actually has a park near him and it looks like it's a super sample tree now, but all jokes aside, this does look exactly like the super sample rock in Helldivers. So I don't know, check the bottom. You might find yourself some of those pink samples. Miss you, babe. Yep, pretty much everyone right now with arc weapons. If you're not aware, arc weapons in Helldivers 2 right now are bugged and they have a very high chance to crash the entire lobby. So if you're crashing in the game, stop running arc weapons. This includes the Tesla as well. Um, yeah, there's just something with arc damage and the arc bolts that is basically crashing everybody. So yeah, be very careful with the arc stuff. Someone over on the Reddit has actually made a really cool, um, I would say an album cover again of four Helldivers basically crouched around a stratagem and it looks like they're all about to perish. I don't know. I really like these whenever I see them. They just remind me of like the album covers. There was one before that was insane. So yeah, this Helldiver just seems to run up and just start abusing this Charger's butt cheeks. I don't know. He's kind of just hitting it over and over again. Charger physics go wacky and then he just kind of dies. Now, I actually saw this a few uh, days ago. Someone has actually made like a OC, like original character from the Bile Titan in Helldivers. And yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. The like original design. Um, there's a lot of booba in the original design. So yeah. And someone has made this meme <laughs> saying heresy 500 kg bomb. The 3D printing as well is getting better and better by the day over on the Reddit. This guy has managed to 3D print a full Bile Titan and it's fully like got joints and everything. Definitely, definitely cool. Like this is probably one of the coolest prints I've seen over on the Reddit. Insane. This is a resin print as well. Now for anyone that plays Warhammer 40k, this really grabbed my attention. Someone has actually made these little miniatures for the Helldivers as well as the ship in the background. Now if anybody actually makes like a Warhammer... Um, like Helldivers faction, I would definitely play that. That would be my army. It would be basically just Helldivers. I love Warhammer. So onto the meat. So it looks like the Hive Lords are making a appearance again, or at least their bones are popping up on different planets. The Astanu. So exercise extreme caution. Um, if you're not aware what the Hive Lords are, they were an enemy in Helldivers 1. They're pretty much huge um i'm not entirely sure how powerful they were if they were like little mini bosses but i would assume from the size of these guys they will be a formidable foe so yeah be very careful <laughs> we could be seeing some actual hive lords and not their skeletons pop up from the ground imagine this guy just pops up from the ground randomly one day because of the the termicide that would be absolutely terrified here's a picture of one as well from Helldivers 1. They do not look friendly at all. Look at those teeth. So moving over to the Helldivers leaks, it looks like a bunch of emotes have leaked along with a bunch of icons, which actually looks like it's for the Illumina as this is the Illumina logo here we can see. So maybe this is going to be for certain, I don't know, like weapons or like the classes as well at the bottom here. We've got some new like objective icons as well as some uh, weapons here with the attachments. And it looks like we've got like a bullet here with like the on like the hazard poison logo and there's a jetpack here also i just realized this helldiver is doing a dab emote we're actually going to be getting a dab emote in helldivers i have seen everything at this point now pretty sure this was yesterday but the official helldivers to twitter actually tweeted out obviously about the flying terminids which is happening because of the TCS, the termicide. Um, but what I don't think they realized is they actually showed off a weapon we haven't seen yet, which was the Chainsaw uh, LMG. I showed you guys some gameplay footage of this. It's basically the new LMG. They showed it in the trailer and there's basically, yeah, I guess like a little third person angle of the new Chainsaw gun. So we could be seeing a new 
War Bond coming soon, potentially, with the weapon. Big massive shout out to Iron Sights once again over on the Helldivers 2 leaks. It looks like we've got some Illuminate Lava. Now, I don't know what this could be for. If it's potentially their blood or maybe a new texture on like a planet, some Illuminate planet. But it looks like this glowing uh, like lava texture. Um, someone said it could be like a placeholder for lava. They're adding like genuine ties to the Illuminate for the environment and stuff. Got some alien goo. And then finishing up, guys, I wanted to show you guys what they've actually done now with the Quasar Cannon. So the Quasar Cannon was this massive new stratagem you got. It's basically this massive laser rocket that you charge. And it actually looks like it's actually doing damage now because before it basically did no damage. But now by the looks of it, you can actually charge and get a perfect one shot on chargers or well, i guess but yeah it looks like one shot can now completely break the charger's ammo so this was actually before the old version as you can see it basically did nothing it didn't even break the armor on the charger so only the leg was damaged slightly um but yeah the new version absolutely destroys stuff so here the second shot this is the old unbuffed version remember but yeah as you can see it it definitely takes a few shots um but yeah they're gonna test the headshots now i think for the charger let's see if they can actually do a uh, a one shot i'm pretty sure it's gonna take around two now in fact i think it's gonna take one just from the fact that you have to call this thing in it wouldn't make sense for the eat rockets head became a one shot make quasar a rechargeable eat so yeah there you go it one shotted the charger which basically means it's a rechargeable EAT. So they're testing the long range against the spores. Apparently it requires two hits. So if you don't know, the spores are basically the, um, I guess like the flying nests, or maybe it's the, the ones that make the, I guess the clouds. But yeah, if you're still not aware what the Quasar Cannon is, it's a, uh, a rocket launcher or like a laser rocket launcher that you have to charge up and it does a ton of damage. So they're testing it here on a Bile Titan. Let's see how it works against a Bile Titan. See if you can one shot it. So yeah, it doesn't look like you can one shot a Bile Titan. That would be pretty OP. So maybe it would take two shots. Let's see if you can kill it with the second shot. Doesn't look like it, but it looks like it still does a ton of damage and still breaks off a ton of armor so three shots three quasar cannons on a bile titan will that kill it doesn't look like it and finally the fourth shot let's see if the fourth shot will do it yeah it looks like so yeah it looks like four quasar cannon shots to be able to kill a bile titan so yeah i feel like the quasar cannon is going to be definitely definitely super good just from the fact that it's a rechargeable rocket launcher but i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again if you want to come and join my discord guys we have a discord with a Helldivers 2 section. Uh, be sure to leave a like on this video. Leave a comment, guys, uh, for a chance to win a copy of Helldivers. Let's try and reach 3,000 likes on this video. I know we can do it. So smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.